Hello, hello. Planet Earth calling. Today we live in an era that is beset with fragmentation and disruption. The growth of cities has for long been on the expense of these native ecologies that made them possible. The environmental crisis we're living is also a humanitarian crisis of inequality. It is a world ravaged by rising poverty levels and increasing disparities. What we've created is these systems that when they break, they really fail. The problem of the environment is fundamentally a design problem. The traditional model of architecture is changing. I'm very convinced we have to slightly rethink our priorities as professionals. Architecture should rise to our most pressing challenges and help imagine new futures. Our consciousness as architects and urban designers and planners is ecologically one-dimensional. Architecture is not the job of a single professional, but a shared expertise. Architecture is about making visible the abundance of all languages. Design must move from the human-centered paradigm to more than human design paradigm. The time has come for a majority of architects to play a significant role in healing the planet. If you're going to argue that we need a new paradigm for relevance for the design profession, you need a platform for convening, and I think that's what the world around does. Architectures, now, near, and next. To have this space to share processes that are untangible and unseen in other parts of the world. It's really great to have this platform that gives you the opportunity to see what these possibilities are and to also start to create networks of engagement, opportunities of connection and collaboration do something and be the change that you want to see. The world around continues to lead by example through our annual summit in New York City, our traveling in focus programs, our free archive of films and our Young Climate Prize. The World Around's Young Climate Prize is our way of living up to our own goals and expectations by supporting the young people who are using design to actively address climate change in their communities all over the world. We must dare to invent the future. I believe in a living architecture. Let's not call things out for being sustainable. Let's say what is not sustainable. The future is not about this kind of homogeneity of making these spaces that we can keep the same forever. I wonder if maybe more art and design will be in the interest of being human. What does it mean? to recognize that the forest is a form of architecture. How do we create enabling environments for inclusivity? What kind of architecture do we need? How do we represent ourselves best? There's a lot to learn always from our ancestors and from vernacular architecture. We need to reset and re-question how can we coexist. We don't have decades to create this shift. We need to create this new practice now. What we really need artists to do is to create habitats for these species within the human imagination. The imagination is the most powerful and fertile tool of liberation we possess. The world around's already done this thing of convening. Connect people globally, not just in terms of design solutions, but in terms of understanding what role design really plays for society. And I don't know anyone who's quite taken on that challenge with the bravery that the world around has. Thanks to the world around for this opportunity to introduce our story today. 